Hey, what's up, guys? Jake, you're getting back some of your royal gayness. I honestly don't remember what was going on, but apparently I invited someone to dinner, so that's kind of terrifying. Aye, but you know what? I'm ready for romance. I can't believe our little Amir is all grown up and dating. Don't jinx this for me, dude. Aw, you're making me blush. All right, all right, now remember, if you're not sure he's into you, take it slow and be careful. Got it. Thanks, Seraph. Let's do this, boys. The guests start to trickle in. I greet each of them with a firm handshake. This is gonna be a great night. There's our vampire boy. Greetings, Prince Amir. Thank you for inviting me to your home. He extends his hand and I grasp it tightly. Now's my chance to woo him. I stare deeply into his eyes, holding his hand, and he doesn't say anything. I keep holding his hand and wiggle my eyebrows. That should send the right message. It did not. He just stands there. People are staring, I let go of his hand. It's pretty awkward, I should probably say something. Oh man, I don't remember this man. Da da da. I feel like he likes dragons. He seems like a dragonborn. Yes, dragons! We discuss for a while, mostly small talk, nothing too confrontational, like mom and dad taught me. Oh, can you smell that? Dinner must be ready. Let's proceed to the dining room, right? Certainly. I'd love to taste some Almarajan cuisine. Oh, man. We are in. Oh, I don't know what he likes. Um. Fish. Fish? Sure, why not? As all the guests dig in, I concentrate on shoveling my food into my mouth so if anyone wants to speak to me, my mouth will be too full to reply. A solid strategy for situations where you're too focused on gazing on your date to talk with anyone else. After we're done eating, I pull my date aside to, well, possibly tell him he is my date. You got it, G. I got you. I believe in you. I need to be sure I want to commit before making my choice. If I start dating someone, there's no going back. I don't know how to handle breakups. Okay. Let's beat around the bush like a little bit. Yes, it was very enjoyable. I am very glad you invited me, Prince Amir. Maybe you had something else in mind you wanted to ask me? Yeah, man, you down to fuck? I'd like to be more than friends. Best friends. I'd like that too. A secret romance, how exciting. We did it, guys! Fucking ten seconds into this video and we already snagged a boy. Look at us. The other guests are leaving, so I must go now. It would be suspicious to stay too long. I'll keep in touch. I have a vampire boyfriend. Go me. I say farewell to my guests, and so the Wednesday dinner is over. Good work, everyone. Time up. Uh, well, that's enough of that. We're going to bed. Whoop. Time to hold some audiences. Great. My liege. I must regretfully report our exterminator was unsuccessful at eradicating the bats. We have no choice but to cancel the dragon dance part of the festival. No! Didn't we pay him a bunch or something? My liege, the Nuppish National Scarab Racing Team has made an unexpected appearance at our gates. They request indefinite asylum. After losing all 15 games this season, wow, they're terrible. The Nuppish government has banished them after that final upset. I have room in my stables if you wish to house them on such short notice. How is it possibly an upset if they lost 14 games already? Um. Um. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just chill. We'll be cool. It will be done, my liege. Your grace, the royal treasury has been broken into, and the kingdom's jewels have been stolen. All of them? Well, no, not all of them. Nor a majority either, but still a substantial quantity of expensive gems. Uh, yeah, let's get them back? I'm surprised you're even letting him keep his job after this. Regardless, I'll get him on the case immediately. We'll find those gem prints. Don't worry. Pew, pew, finger guns. Okay, cool. Well, that's enough of that. We're done here. Cool, management time. We got a bunch of recruits. Good shit. Look at that army. Let's get some cash money. And everyone else is busy. Great. Good work, everyone. Deagle. Oh, that's, that's not, that's the wrong guy. Deagle, do you want to cook with me? You cook, Amir. That's great. What, how did he get, whatever. You know what? Yeah, well, um, I mean, not often. In fact, um, barely at all. But I've been learning. I really want you to try my cooking. Of course. Oh, I hope I don't fuck this up. All right, it's done. What, um, what is? A Mirajan staple. We call them poop noodles. Instant noodles. What's in them? 
Well, there's noodles. And then there's salt and broth and, um, flavoring. Sure, sounds great. Let's dig in. I made him instant noodles when I a college boy? Well, how was it? It was interesting, but my goodness, you Marajans use a lot of salt in your dishes. Yeah, we have cholesterol problems like you wouldn't believe. Ah, uh, that's because we have so many salt mines in the nation. It makes salt cheap and easy to procure. Is he a spy? Are you using my romance option to spy on my country? Thanks for the knowledge, Magda. I see, I see. Very interesting indeed. I think he's spying on me and I'm going to be betrayed by my one true love, my vampire boy. That makes me sad. That's not what I want. A letter arrived. Hi, Amir. I'm Ash. I'm eight and I like carrots. My teacher told us to write a letter to one of the leaders of Terra and I wrote to you. Do you have pets? I have a baby bat that likes fruit. We're going to write him a letter immediately. Hey, Amir. I don't fucking care. Cool. Audience time. Your predictions were well funded, my liege. Bromilda has cooled off overnight and she thanks you for showing your citizens hospitality. The team paid handsomely for that quartering as well. I didn't know we had them drawn and quartered. That's nice. Well, your grace, it looks like the captain of the guard is worth his keep after all. With a little help from yours truly, he managed to trace where the gems were headed. Unfortunately, I don't think you'll like the answer. Just tell me, dude. Very well, the Yasir family ordered the theft. I don't know who that is. Yasir, no! A family of nobles? Am I, um, am I related to them, or are you? Look, royal lineage is very messy, dude. Yeah, you know, of course it is, your grace. No, the Asir family has no familial ties to you. They acquired their nobility through wealth, not blood. Well, um, in that case, fucking put them in jail for crimes. Indeed you cannot. You watch, all the scumbags in irons before breakfast, G, or else I'll shoot them with these bad boys. Pew, pew! Thanks, G, uh, I don't remember his name at all. Safir? Amir? I'm Amir. He's... So f I don't know his name. Oh no, it's a princess, what do? Okay, here we go, don't worry. Let me just dust off my shoulders here. My name may or may not be called La Fanon. I, I may or may not be from Al. I'm here to either marry you or find the hidden treasure on your palace. Okay, look, here's the problem, honey bunch. I can't marry you because I'm pooping everywhere. Politics. So I need to start cleaning. I have a bad case of diarrhea in politics, so I should start cleaning right away. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like this is about to go up. No! No! Ugh, oh, fuck me. I really need to research some princesses. I have to go now. Greet your parents for me, won't you? Of course! Bye-bye. I need to do something manly. Like, can we get, like, a bear? I'll punch a bear. Gay people can't punch bears. That's, like, a law, right? Bam! Look at me. Okay, um, yeah, my dude, you need to spy on some princesses, because I am getting fucked, but not in a good way. I can only pick the spooky cat. Whoop! I don't know what I just picked. Okay, you know what? Let's do a law. I know how laws work. Um, dude, I haven't decriminalized gay boys yet. Yeah, everyone's allowed to be gay boys. This is great. This is great. Um, I don't have enough to do anything else. Great. Good work, everyone. Go team. Blast it all. This just isn't working out. Are you breaking up with me, Seraph? No. Seraph, is something the matter? Oh, hey, G. I didn't notice you creeping up on me there. I, I wasn't creeping. I was just stalking. Calm down. Calm down. I meant it as a compliment. Hmm. Well, uh, anyways, you sound like you were having a problem. Oh, with that, it's nothing much. It's just my cravat. I injured my wrist this morning, and it's making it hard to tie the damn thing. Can I help? Probably not. It might. If you can hold it in place real quick while I... Like this? Oh, don't... Oh, nothing happened. There we go. Got it! Thanks a bunch, G. Of course, anytime! I've noticed. You really stick your neck out for the little guy. D do I? I think so. And I wouldn't be surprised if the people thought so, too. I make a mental note of this. My actions as ruler not only affect the well-being of my people, but their perceptions towards me as well. Yeah, obviously, that's why we have a happiness bar. Because it tells us how happy boys they is. Anyways, night time. Okay, it's manly time. And nothing says manly like shopping. 
I gather every green item I can find from the general store and head towards the register. The cashier gives me a strange look. Mission accomplished. As I exit the store, I feel my nerve and uniqueness getting stronger. That wasn't really what I wanted to do, but fine. You know what? It's something. And then we went to bed, and then... Okay. Now we've really got to do something manly. Like fucking fishing. As I spend the day fishing leisurely, the sun begins to set. Time sure flies when you're fishing. No, it does not. It actually stands still. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually happening in real time. Look at the sun go. Wow. I have never been so bored in my entire life. I don't understand how people enjoy fishing. It is. It's like sitting, but more boring. I didn't catch any fish. Great. What a good waste of my time. Um, I'm gonna save. Good stuff. No. Stop. Ah. Just let me leave. I just wanna leave. Nope. Anyways, that's enough excitement for one day. It's time to go sleep. Um, and nobody cares. Great. Audience time. My liege, there's been a massive rise in the cat population within the city. Cats in the streets, cats in the markets, even cats overrunning people's homes. Sounds like a cat catastrophe, huh? Quite. I don't think she got the joke. Well, other people do love the adorable kittens that have come to their lives. It's proving detrimental to the economy. Oh no, not the economy. No one's going to work. They just spend all day petting cats. It's become quite the problem. Um, we're not killing kittens. It's fine. If you say so, my liege. Everyone likes cats. It's totally fine. My liege, a phoenix landed on the roof of the palace. What, just now? It's spectacularly colored and the people love it. The dragons have been eyeing it all day, though. I've even received a few urgent letters requiring, inquiring if it's for sale. What do we do? Uh, yeah, tell them this was my idea. You're welcome, everyone. Absolutely, my liege. Yeah, man, people will love me. I got you a phoenix, you needy bitches. What do you want? Bam! Bam! Look at me, I'm doing so good! Um... Yeah, just keep making other people like me, and you give me an army so we can just invade people later. Yeah, we're, we're banging on all cylinders now. Another ball today! Haven't we had enough of them already? I'm not ready for this emotionally. I hope my boyfriend comes. I politely greet all the guests and try to hold in a yawn. I guess I should have gone to bed earlier last night. I just couldn't get a certain someone out of my mind. Oscar the Grouch. Hiya, Prince Amir! Your head's up in the clouds! Won't you greet me? Ah! Speak of the devil! Oh, hello! I, I didn't know you were coming today. I happen to be in the area, so your spymaster extended an invitation to me. Thanks, Seraph, but you could have warned me. Welcome, welcome, please, please make yourself at home. Oh, we're doing so good on dates. Deagle sits a few tables away from me. I wish I could talk to him, but it'd be suspicious to concentrate all my attention on one guest. I wish I could hold his hand. Deagle notices my probably way too obvious glances and winks at me with a grin when no one's looking. Maybe someday we'll sit next to each other. Man, the romance is really reaching a simmering point. A boiling point. An exciting moment. A letter! I greet thee, Prince Amir. It's come to my attention one of my people has weaved heavy unrest in one of your villages close to your borders. It seemed they allowed their blood rust lust to rule them. On behalf of all obsidians, I, Apophril Dark Enchanter, oh good, this seems like a good guy, give you my deepest apologies. It's not my intention to allow any of my people to do bad things. I'll pay for all the damages. The relatives of the villagers will live in riches. Um, nope. I'll take the money, please. Honorable Prince Amir, um, I like that you made gay boys legal. Great. Thanks, letter boy. Let's do this. My liege. It's about the kittens, isn't it? You noticed. There was a cat in my bathtub! My bathtub! Yes, well, suffice to say, the problem is approaching catical mass. Um, here's the problem. I love bathtub cats. I suppose that does sound kind of nice. Very well. I suppose we'll just live with this aspect of Maharajan life. I just spent a lot of money on cats, dude. My liege, the people adore the phoenix. It occasionally flies about, spreading a beautiful spectrum of colors everywhere. Various citizens come forward asking how they may take care of it. What shall I tell them? Um, yeah, tell them, to, uh, oh no, um. Okay, we, we need mons though. I will, my liege. Yeah, tell them to give us some dank money for the bird. This is great. It's definitely gonna work. 
Oh, no. She is scary. She doesn't have eyes and she's a heart. Okay, let's do this. Hiya! I'm Malin from the beautiful Arath, and I'm happy to tell you I'm here to offer you my hand in marriage. Alright, buddy. Here's the thing, right? Cat abortions. I died. Um. Shovel time. Um? I have to go! Greet your parents, won't you? Oh, yeah, totally! Thank fuck. Oh, man, just play dead. I don't know why I haven't thought of that before. That's a good move. That's a great maneuver. Look at that, I got- Oh! Princess report! I wonder what happened! I happened to stumble on Odessa's diary! Juicy stuff! Well, you're busy, so you probably just want to know she likes having a legitimate claim for the throne, and dislikes germs. Great. She likes having a legitimate claim to the throne. Amazing. Unlike most people, who hate having a legitimate claim to the throne? Do I have somewhere in my dungeon? Nope. Good. Fuck the dungeon, like I always say. Us. Barry, there's something amiss. No, everything's fucking great. Super fucking great, even. Then why are you here at so late an hour? Oh, I, I was just wondering if you need anything, boss. I mean, not really. I could go for a cup of chamomile tea, I guess? Ah, the boss, you fucking, I, I'm the tea guy. I got you, man. What's with the charity all of a sudden, Barry? It's not your job to make tea for me. It's your job to be a weird frog wizard. Well, you know what? You've been fucking awesome to me and my boys. So I thought I'd repay the favor by making you some fucking tea. That's a strange thing to say to one's prince, don't you think? Yeah, but I mean, you know, we're, we're friends, right? I, I fucking, right? Oh yeah, totally, yes. Then I'll have the tea, with a little bit of lemongrass and honey if you can manage. Dude, you got it, my dude. I'm fucking, you say it, I tea it. That's my job, I'm Barry. Okay, anyways, that tea put me right to bed, and then I got a letter. Who, who am I ratting out? Okay, he, he is fucking this girl. I don't care. I don't know why I even read that letter. Omar's the boring boy. It's audience time, though. Your Grace, the people have donated a huge amount of money to the treasury. Oh, look at this shit, I'm loaded. And I'll be sure to make sure the phoenix has its needs met. Awesome, awesome, we just have like a state bird now. Your Grace, it's about the Yasir family. Yes, Seraph. Have they been apprehended? They have, and the gems were recovered. Look at how much money I have. Great, score one for Amir. Who's an awesome prince? Here's a hint. It's Amir. Gee. Who's an awesome prince, Spymaster? Up top. Y you are. Oh, yeah. Bow, squid launcher. We fucking did it. Your Grace, please, fuck, you just listen to me for like a second. Oh, yeah, what's up, man? While the gems were recovered, the rest of this Yasir family has, um... How shall I put this? It sent ripples to the upper echelons of Maharajan society? Long story short, you're gonna have a hell of a harder time earning the loyalty of nobility after this. Look, it's only at negative eight. I fucked up real bad, everyone. Well, maybe my nobility shouldn't be stealing from me. That would make things easier, wouldn't it? Man, I really screwed the pooch here. Well, fuck. That sucks. I didn't know those numbers could go negative. I assumed they zeroed out, you know, at zero. Um, but you know what? For now, let's improve relations with wolf boys because that seems... Oh, but they're in our dungeon, right? They're not in our dungeon. I thought we arrested them. I spent 30 points for fucking nothing. Okay, great. There weren't any special events today, so that sucks. Anyways, Ben. A letter? You must be very kind soul to have dis to have discriminalized other gays. But I do worry about other gays. Thank you for your concerns, guy. Anyways, my liege, I don't mean to worry you, but our resources are growing thin. Which resources exactly? Because we're loaded as fuck. Perhaps you should focus more on our resources. What are you talking about? I'm loaded! Look at this, 75 money! My liege, there's a plot of empty land in the city and the townsfolk are tiring of traveling performers who can't sing, using it as their rehearsal area. The choice of what to build has fallen to you. Um. Okay, look, we need something that will make the royalty happy and I think singer boys should do it. I suppose that should work. I can't say it will solve the noise problem, but the nobles should enjoy the new choice of entertainment. Yeah, we really need to do something for them. Hey, look at that, a positive number. 
My liege, are you aware of the blob monster that lives in the city sewers? Mr. Squishy? Yeah, I remember him. Please don't call it that. But Drake Master, you were the one who named it, weren't you? Everyone makes mistakes, my liege. Anyway, we saw no harm letting it roam underground so long as it harmed no one, but... Let me guess, it escaped the sewers? No, it... It's poisoning the water supply. No, Prince, it... A child wandered and it gobbled it up. No, none of that! It's just, well, it's noisy. Citizens have given a number of descriptions, including, but not limited to, a rock titan goggling an avalanche in a thunderstorm. Oh, is that what that noise was? I thought that was Barry snoring. So I guess it's up to me to handle the beast, huh? You are the heir to the throne, my liege. An acting ruler in the absence of your father, the king. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's the plan. Yeah, let's just see if we can cast silence on it. I shall send the word myself, my liege. Because Mr. Squishy seems like a great asset. Well, that's it for today. I'm done here. Oh, God. Okay. Well, before we figure out what came through this door, it's probably a princess, I'm going to draw this episode to a close, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like that, I'm going to like and subscribe, and be sure to tune next week for more Your Royal Gayness with yours truly. I'll see you guys then.